welcome to the session in which we would look at a depletion example that deals with natural resources. Now, depletion is the same thing as depreciation, except we are dealing with natural resources. And it's the same concept as amortization expense when, when dealing with intangible asset. Simply put, depletion is taking the cost of the natural resource and expense in that cost. Now for natural resources, oftentimes we do have some sort of an output that we can measure our depletion. So this is what we're gonna be looking in this example to do. Compute the, basically the, dip, the cost per unit, the depletion cost, and once we know the depletion cost, we know the amount of inventory we have from the natural resource. Let's go ahead and get started. Adam Mining Company purchased a land on January 1st, 20X1 at a cost of 1.2 million now since you purchase the land that's going to be part of your base think of property plant and equipment when you buy it that's your cost now you might have other costs but that's the main cost purchase the land adam estimated that a total of 80,000 tons of mineral was available for mining well this is the output this is the total output 80,000 tons of mineral once the site is depleted Adam is required to restore the land to its previous state due to environmental protection laws. Well, we're going to have to pay something, basically maybe plant the trees, build the fence, make it look good. The present value of the cost to restore the land is 65000 And notice here I said present value because you have to pay this money down the road. Well, that's fine. But you know it's going to cost you 65000 today. So you have to put away 65000 That's your present cost. So use the time value of money. And don't worry how we came up with this. It just it's given to you. Sometimes they may tell you you need to pay this amount six years from now, and they'll give you the amount six years from now as a hundred thousand. Then they give you the present value factor, and you have to find the present value. For here, I just told you the present value is sixty-five thousand. Also, Adam believes he can sell the land for a hundred thousand once the minerals are extracted. Well. Also, I'm giving you the present value. Now, this amount could be more into the future, but the present value today, based on the present value money, is 100000 An additional 400000 of developmental cost is required before the extraction commence. So simply put, Adam will need to incur additional cost to get the site ready. In, in, in the first year, Adam extracted 25,000 tons, of which he sold 20,000. So the first question in this example is compute the per unit material cost simply put what is our cost per one ton before we proceed any further i have a public announcement about my company farhatlectures.com farhat accounting lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your cpa exam preparation as well as your accounting courses my cpa material is aligned with your cpa review course such as becker roger wiley gleam miles my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Now, how do we compute this? First, we have to figure out how much did we invest, what's our cost? And based on our cost, we are going to divide by the number of units we, we can extract 80,000. So what is our cost? What our cost is 1.2 million. Then we're going to have to pay or we are responsible for 65,000 for the environmental uh, cost. Then we are going to get back 100,000 from this land. And we incurred an additional 400,000 of developmental cost. So all in all, our cost will be 1,565,000. This is our total cost. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to take total cost and divide it by the output of 80,000. Then we know now our cost per ton, per ton is $19.56. Now we know every ton we extract, the cost of that ton is that much. Now, how much are we going to sell it for? We might sell it for $35. We might sell it for $40. I don't know how much the mineral, mineral goes for, but this is what we're doing. Now, the, the second question is compute the inventory well inventory is what you have left how many units that i have left how many tons i if i extracted 25 sold 20 i must have left 5000 therefore my total inventory is 5000 times 19.56 which is 97000 
uh, $800. What is my cost of goods sold? Cost of goods sold is how many units I actually sold. Well, how many units I sold? It's 20,000 unit times 19.56. Now, here's what I want to tell you. It's which is 391,200. In some textbook or for some natural resources, what's going to happen is this. Natural resources are a little bit different than other assets. Why? Because they have a readily available market. What does that mean? Let's assume you are extracting oil. Each barrel of oil, there's an active market price. I don't know what's the barrel of oil today is. It's around 90s or $100. So what, what companies can do is if they extract the 25,000 barrels that day, they can multiply it by $90 and consider that all cost of goods sold. Why? Because it's considered sold. Uh, I'm sorry, not by not, if, the, if the price is $90, it means there is a market. So let's assume it costs them, you know, $60. So they can take the 25,000 times the $60 and cost of goods sold everything. So in other words, they extracted 25,000 barrels. They only sold 20. They can still expense the whole 25,000. Why? Because the oil has an actively mar active market. They can sell it immediately. Therefore, if they want to expense it, they are allowed to expense it because they can easily sell it immediately as well. There's an active market for that. Just FYI, because it's a kind of special accounting issues. Just in case in your textbook, they expense the whole thing the 25,000 and they said there is zero inventory because we expense the whole thing. That's also acceptable. It's a special type of accounting. You don't have to worry about this just in case you saw it. I want, I want to make sure you're aware of it. And the only reason you can do that is because there's an active market. You have oils, you can sell it and there's an active market. Therefore, whatever you produce, you can consider it immediately cost of goods sold because you could consider it sold immediately based on a contract. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs, true false, that's going to help you understand depletion expense. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.